Welcome back, Gadgeteers. So, an interesting video. I've been having problems getting games to run under Linux. Um, if the game was designed to run under Linux, then it would work. And I have several games, of course, that are not designed under Linux that are supposed to use uh, the Proton or Steam Play that's built into Steam. And I am talking specifically about Steam games. I haven't tried any other, like, good old games or anything like that. So uh, I'll get to that in the future, hopefully. But I've been trying to, to fix this puzzle for about, gosh, I think three years at least. And I had... It wasn't even a suspicion, it was a thought that I could figure out what the problem was. And I I thought it might have something to do with where my Steam library was located. And I thought, no, that can't be it. That would be too easy. So I started doing some more searching again and a little bit of research, trying to figure out what was I doing? Was it because I was on Fedora? Is it because I'm on Fedora 34 specifically, even though it happened on previous versions as well. So I couldn't figure it out. Doing a search, finally, I came upon, I think it was a Reddit page. Unfortunately, I didn't save it. But the user was having the same problems I was. He was using Linux, and I think it was a different version of Linux but he was having the same problem as I was having. So I read through all the different responses and the very last one at the bottom said, and this is embarrassing, are you, is your Steam library on an NTFS partition? And that was one of the things I thought I suspected could be it, but I disregarded because I, I couldn't imagine that would possibly cause a problem. So with Steam, let me switch to Cam Small here, see if Steam is up and launched. With Steam launched, um, you can see the games that I've actually downloaded. And I thought, I really need to try these games on a Linux partition. So I took one that definitely wasn't working, in this case, uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. and I moved it so if you look at uh, is it the properties or manage I always forget let's try properties okay you go to properties and then you go to local files and you can if you want move the install folder so I didn't want to have to download it all over again so I moved it from you guessed it my shared four terabyte drive which is all ntfs and i did that so that um, any videos or anything i saved or steam games uh, in the steam library there i could just boot up into windows and i would have access to those videos and and other things in case i wanted to um, do a comparison on editing or how well uh, steam games run in windows unfortunately that was the problem. So this four terabyte drive is NTFS. Probably doesn't show it, does it? Of course not. Fuse block, that should tell you. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I moved them initially to my home, which I really, it's on an SSD and home is used primarily for, you know, editing videos like the video we're doing right now. And I didn't want to fill it up with games. I put like three different games on there and I started filling up that particular partition, the home partition on my main one terabyte SSD. So I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do? I grabbed a 512 gigabyte hard drive and I went ahead 
plugged it into USB. I should say before that I did format it for Linux. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't, maybe it was ButterFS or EXT4. I don't remember which one, but I put my games on there. And as you can guess, they actually worked. Does that mean it's playable? Well, yes and no. Now, just so you understand, of course, I have some Steam games here, and I am on uh, an AMD Ryzen 3950X. I have a Ryzen, Ryzen Radeon RX 580, which is a pretty old uh, GPU at this point, even though if you try to go and buy one, they're still selling for like two or three hundred dollars, which is crazy. So I don't get all that great um, frame rate, but I wanted to show you we're going to launch uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, one of the problems I've still noticed is Steam is cranky the steam app it doesn't want to well it plays fine but it, it freezes from time to time and this is an example so it'll be frozen like this for a little while and then all of a sudden it will launch uh witcher 3 i haven't really worked too hard on that problem to be honest i i really don't play any games um the reason I have them in the first place is just for benchmarking. So I guess the thing that I wanted to do most was run games under Linux and get an idea of the frame rate and then boot up on this same computer into Windows 10. I don't have 11 yet. And see how it works, what the frame rate would be under Windows 10. So apparently we're going to be doing an update. That's the other thing I can't, I don't understand how people, I don't have the patience for this. It's, it's sitting here telling me, well, you know, I'm going to do an update. I just played it a week ago. Well, that's too bad. We're doing another update and it'll be ready in, okay, it says it's ready. Um, but again, it's going to freeze for a little while and it may take several minutes for it to actually launch. Uh, if it does, I'll just cut that out. So let's wait and see if we can get it to launch. And you will see what the frame rate is for Witcher 3 using the Proton Steam Play package that allows you to play Windows games in Linux. Okay, so we actually have it playing. I pretty much disregard the frames per second when we're in a video. Uh, I may have, gosh, I forget what it's called, V-Sync on. I haven't looked at any of the settings yet. All I know is I put everything on high. So let's see if we can get past this. Space bar to skip. And I'm just going to do new game and... I know it's boring, but just the story and show tutorials because I'm absolutely terrible at playing these kind of games. I, you know, I'm surprised I even know uh, WASD, W A S D, to be honest. But anyway, let's see what happens. So here we have another video. Let's see if we can skip that. I swear it let me skip it before. It's like you try the space bar because it worked before. You try escape. Finally with enter. Um, I'm going to skip this because there's actually some nudity. Okay, so... Visual clarity looks good. I've got hair works on as high as it'll go. Let's go outside and have a look and see how things look. Oh. Anyway. Quality is wonderful. Looks beautiful. It's only getting, you know, somewhere in the 30s frames. So it, it's not really super high. 
many people wouldn't consider this playable, but for me, it's okay. I, I don't really, you know, when I do a game, it's very rare. Witcher 2 performs very similar, even though Witcher 2 is designed for Linux. So, I'd like to take this game and boot it into Windows and see what it does. I'm sorry I'm not going to do that in this video, but let's go talk to Yennefer. I will have a video though where I'm going to do a bunch of different comparisons. I'm going to download a newer game. Keeping in mind it's an RX 580, so it's not going to be the best. Oh, isn't that sweet? So again, we're looking at frames in the 30s. That's that's not stellar. I haven't played too much with the settings. I have the highest settings on right now. I probably need to go in and let's skip this. See if I can get into options and I'll show you what I've set up for video so far. Okay, so I do have V-Sync on. Seems like it was not so great when it was off. Honestly, can't remember. We're going to have to do another video where I do a bunch of different changes. It can't even hit 60 frames a second. Uh, it's on the number one display. We're doing it 1920 by 1080 because, of course, um, that is my monitor. And I don't think the RX480 could do 4K. Full screen on the display mode. NVIDIA Hairworks is on, anti-aliasing, 4, Hairworks preset high, and you can see I've got everything else jacked up to ultra. So if I took those down, I'm sure it would run a little bit better. So I'm curious about this V-Sync. I'm going to turn it off, and let's go back into the game. It does seem to be a little bit faster, doesn't it? I'm not very good at walking. It definitely is faster. So those of you who are gamers and understand the uh, V-Sync concept, maybe you can uh, throw me a bone here and tell me what it does and whether it's preferable or not. So while we're here... I'd like to see one more thing. I can't help myself. Video. Graphics. Let's take everything down. I'm going to turn Hairworks off. If it lets me. And... I'm going to change the background characters to... Let's do high. Rain quality, water quality, grass density, textures, foliage, hardware cursor is on, detail level. Might as well try it, see what I get. And we'll hit resume. So we are definitely getting a higher frame rate, about 60 frames a second. I can imagine that if I had like a RX 6600, I would be getting a much better frame rate than I am right now. So to me, 60 is playable. Many of you would say no. I can barely tell the difference. I guess I can see the difference in his hair. Um, but the mountains in the background, you, you can see a subtle difference, but not a huge difference. So let's go back in here and use our Witcher senses. So we're supposed to find the key to get out of here. It's one of those things where you, you think you would know, right? Huh, I don't see anything yet. I did this before, 
Look for highlighted objects. Ah, what is this? Hmm. Examine. That's it. I gotta bring her more juice. That's all she wants. I was thinking the key was inside there, but you know, now that I think about it, I think I found it in a box. Anyway, I, I think I can live with the quality level that it's at. At some point when uh, GPU prices go down, then I'll probably upgrade. But for now, this is perfectly fine with me. We've got 60 frames a second. Of course, I'm not doing anything. It's not like I'm overly active or anything like that. All right, well, I'll worry about finding the key on another time. But if you're in Linux, a very simple fix is to make sure you have your Linux games on a proper Linux partition. What embarrasses me about it is it's such an easy fix, it's ridiculous. And I actually had thought about it many years ago and thought, nah, that couldn't be it. And then when I finally saw somebody else commenting on that, and the original poster didn't even go back and say whether or not it worked, but once I saw that, I thought, I gotta check it out. There, there must be something I can do and it worked I have a little portable drive I guess theoretically I could take that drive to any Linux system and log on as me and I would already have my Steam library downloaded I know other people have done that for testing while in Windows they put their Steam library on a portable hard drive uh, so that they can do testing on multiple Windows 10 platforms a little bit later in another video we're gonna compare more games frame rates, settings, and Windows 10, Linux versus Windows 10, and see if there's really a large frame rate difference. Uh, I am curious about that. If anybody understands what the VSync is doing and whether it's good or bad, if you could, uh, send me a message, make a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and maybe share the video as well. I always appreciate that. Thank you for watching. As always, have a good night. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.